What's going on, everybody? Welcome again to a brand new episode of Eating Vegan with Nick. Well, today, you see the mayonnaise, you see the cheese, and you see the Beyond Meat. Now, I know everybody's heard a bunch of stuff about Beyond Meat, but today, I'm going to tell y'all the truth about it. We're going to put it to the test, we're going to grill it, and then we're going to taste it to see if it's really as popping as everybody says it is. Alongside of the Beyond Meat Burger Review, we're also going to be reviewing the Vegan Chow Slices. This flavor, creamy original, I've never had before. So the review is going to be super authentic. And also, with every decision that I make, I always decide to follow my heart. I know, I know, a little cheesy, right? But this one is the best one on the market. Now I know you guys really want to know what's in the cheese, what's in the mayo, and what's in the protein. Here you go. This is how the Beyond Meat Burger looks like. Once you take it out of the packaging, you can smell the distinct scent. And here, right next to it, we have some lettuce and tomatoes that we are going to put on top of it as we build our burger. The Beyond Meat, the texture, gives you a very meaty texture, marbleized. So each side should be cooked for about four minutes. And right now what I'm going to do is, it's about to be four minutes. I'm just simply going to flip it over. And I see that the protein is now rising. That color looks really good. The burger is starting to look very, very juicy. And I love it juicy. So right now I'm going to be putting the vegan chow slices, the creamy original on top of the burger so that we can have some sort of melted cheese. So for all those who always say that vegan cheese doesn't melt, let me just show you something. We, we have a little bit of melting going on over here. It's maybe the vegan cheese that you're selecting. It's not vegan cheese that eating vegan when Nick told you guys to get. So this right here, vegan chow slices from Field Roast definitely melts. And soon we're gonna take these out of the pan and we're gonna start building our burger. So we're gonna go ahead and put some of this vegan mayo on the bread. This is how it looks like. I don't like too much mayo on my, my burgers. Use this light spread. Okay. There we go. A little bit of lettuce on top. I feel like we're, I'm working at Mr. Krabby's patty. And we're gonna top it off with some tomato right there. One thing I do want to do for you ladies and gentlemen is I'm going to cut the burger in half. I'm not gonna add ketchup at the moment because I want you guys to see everything and how it looks. So I'm going to cut it so you guys can see the inside. I wish you guys can smell this. Now, what does this look like to you? Does this look like if someone told you this is how a vegan patty looks like, would you think that this is exactly how it would look like? Yes or no? Drop some comments down below and let me know how you feel about it. Now we're gonna go back down, we're gonna enjoy this, hopefully, and we're gonna review it. All right now, we're back. We just finished making the burger, as you can see right here. Like I said, I'm not putting any ketchup or barbecue sauce to alter with the actual taste of the protein because I want to be very honest and sincere and see if it's juicy. Right now, it's looking very juicy. I have the burger. I have the follow your heart mayo. I have the field roast vegan chow slices. So let's do what we do best and eat. <clears throat> mm. I'm not going to lie. Hold on. So after having the first bite, I can tell you that the burger is very juicy. It's not dry like some of the other vegan patties that I've had before. The cheese, the, the chow cheese, the creamy original is actually very creamy. It almost tastes like, um, I, I don't know how to describe it exactly, but it tastes very creamy. It tastes very rich in flavor because I can definitely taste it complimenting the burger. It's very delicious. I'm so happy. And the rolls that we decided to get were rolls that do not contain any milk, any eggs, or any of those other dairy ingredients. The, the, the burger rolls are definitely free of that. And this is a wonderful burger. I definitely have to continue to enjoy this. So as you can see, I don't have the food in front of me anymore. It's definitely down here. The food was amazing. The burger was amazing. And to be honest with you, that wasn't my first Beyond Meat burger. Last year I was eating them, but I got a little tired of them. For some reason, it just wasn't hitting the same. But to me, it seems like they stepped up their product. The meat 
the protein tastes so much better. It tastes so much more enriched with flavor. It's not as dry as it was before. Um, it was amazing and the cheese that went with it definitely complemented it well So the truth about Beyond Meat the burgers are just as good as they say you guys know I wouldn't lie to you It definitely gets the Eden vegan with Nick stamp of approval The cheese was amazing the follow your heart mayo was amazing and the burger itself everything was wonderful if you've never had vegan food before you know, and you're wondering where to start, I wouldn't be mad if you definitely started with Beyond Meat, especially because they're in all the stores right now. Please don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you know somebody who's interested in these kind of videos, go ahead and share it and send it with them. Thank you guys for watching Eating Vegan with Nick.